they want win both to, break. to win this final and be the first to book their passage into the winners group which is even more profitable and of course if you are the overall winner of the event you're invited to the champion of champions next season Well, that was a terrific pot. At that angle, though, he needed to drop the cue ball on a sixpence. Oh, a full stretch, Jack managed to still cut in the black, but what's he on Eight. now? Anything? No. I just wonder if it will benefit Jack, having just played his last match eight. here on table one. And playing on the other table, table two. Sometimes, even though the tables are adjoining, they can play differently to one another. I think you've got a point there, Dominic, although I think it's been negated somewhat by the fact that Liang played his final group match on this table at the start of this session, so... I think he's pretty well acquainted with it. Oh, absolutely. But you always seem to reaccustom yourself to the last table you play on. So if there are any differences between the two tables, Liang will just have to forget about the last match that he played against Ryan Day. And just, as I say, make any necessary adjustments to the speed of the shots in terms of, if there are any differences in terms of the speed of the bedcloth, that is, and the cushions, the way they're playing. A good safety exchange can really help you sometimes. He's looking at the potential here for a two ball plant into the right corner. Played as a shot to nothing, he'll make sure of a good cue ball. finished well. Jack needs to be careful here because there are loose reds that may pot somewhere if he doesn't get the line and length of this absolutely perfectly. Oh, he couldn't have played it better, could he? Touching ball. Touching ball declared by referee Rob Spencer, so gives Liang the opportunity to once again snooker Jack Lizowski. It was in the evening session last night when these two met in the round robin phase. Lazowski won 3 2. Came pretty close to a maximum break, actually. Potted 14 reds, 14 blacks. Missed the 15th red, which wasn't ideal for position. just that one, Liang Rimbo, that cue ball almost caught the jaws of that right hand corner but 
Played it well in the end. Force a little bit of a mistake from Jack. Chance of a possible red here for Yang Lan Bo to either corner. I think he'll favour the straightest one to left corner because of the hamper queuing over the brown for the other one. through for the black but there was too much stun and not quite enough run through never easy to judge just a fraction more top spin was required there oh, that's superb very bold shot choice from Liang Wenbo. Oh, does the blue respot? Oh, this could make things interesting. Does he have clear queuing through to the red? He does. Seven. It's so fast, isn't it, Phil? This bed cloth. <coughs> It is. Conditions are very nice, actually. I think we've had a, a few issues with a slate. But the manoeuvrability around the table with the cue ball is definitely greatly helped by the speed of the, the cloth. Twelve. One of the reasons, I believe, Dominic, we've had quite a high number of centuries. Nowhere near a record for a group in the Championship League. But 14 centuries, now that's above average. Thirty. Yeah, that is excellent. 14 centuries in one group. I think the record, Phil, is it something like 22, isn't it? I will go away and think about that. It's certainly in the 20s. really made this break. Young men boat. Twenty. Good opening red. That's what an excellent 20. blue. From long range. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. It's not just the bedcloth either that's been fast. The cushions have been responsive. 44. Yes, the speed of the bedcloth won't often change in a couple of days, but the 45. cushions will tend, if anything, to speed up a little as the cloth settles. Spencer, the referee, cleaned the black ball. Now he's cleaning the white. 
as requested by Liang. Last thing you want here is a kick. Last thing you want any time is a kick. Fifty-three. Sixty. Just a red and black required to win the first frame of this final of Group 1. Sixty-one. Thank you. My math is a little awry. There are five reds remaining, not four, so an extra red will be required. Sixty-eight. Is that Dominic? Why you almost say you've won three ranking titles when you've only won two? 69. Only joking. <laughs> Tell you what, Dom, this is a great start, isn't it? 76. It is really, because Liang has sort of come through the group stages fairly quietly. Graham Dot, of course, won all his group matches, but then failed at the penultimate hurdle in his match with Jack Lizowski just now. And but Liang has sort of come through quietly, he hasn't dominated 84. the group by any means. In fact, Jack Lizowski beat him in the group matches. 85. But he seems to have saved his best till last. 90. One ball 91 on the first frame. That's a shame. He made a century in the semi finals of the group. He's not made a century there. Nevertheless, a very impressive start from Liang Wenbo. He leads Jack Lazowski 1 0 in this race to three. Jack Lisowski immediately facing a deficit in this Group 1 final. 
Here's a good one for you, Dominic. As the world number 34, Liang Wenbo is the highest or lowest, depending on your perspective, lowest ranked player in the tournament. Just one place behind him in the rankings, Michael Holt is the first reserve. So could he, the lowest ranked player in the event, become the first player through to the winners group? One. I certainly feel if he keeps knocking in reds like that one, it may well be the case. But of course, Yang Wen Bo, we know, is a far better player than somebody ranked in the 30s. Has won a ranking title. Has beaten pretty much everybody in the game at some point. Yellow ball. Yeah, the stumbling block for Liang most certainly isn't ability. It's definitely an inability to control his nerves on the big stage. It's an easy pot by any means, but once it was missed, could have easily left Jack Lewowski right in. Well, another ball in short matches can make such a big difference. These two have had plenty of professional experience now, so it will come as a surprise to many. It certainly did to me before I looked it up. Apart from their meeting in this group, they've only had three previous encounters over all of the years. One win each in a couple of small PTC events. And they've only met once before in a world ranking event. Oh, superb from Liang. Simply superb. Well, I haven't put a foot wrong yet, really, Liang Wenbo. Made that excellent break in the first frame from next to nothing. What a red that was. Yes, their last meeting on the Pro Tour Eight. before their round-robin match in this group was way back in 2014, would you believe? Last 64 of the Nine. UK Championship. Lazowski prevailed 6-4. Seventeen. Now, slight problem here for Liang. Twenty-four. He's short of pace on this red to right corner, so can't avoid cannoning into other balls here. Out. That's end of break. Incredible. You just slip out of position slightly once and it can cause a downfall. Leon Wimbledon 25. 
And the opening red really deserved more than 25. State from Jack caught that too thick. It's red though that his left liang isn't straightforward. The position to colour, and then he's, he's going to play this at full stretch. Didn't what? touch the size, did it? He's got the best angle here on the blue. Oh, he did have the right angle on the blue. He was the right side of it. Six. Seven. Yeah. Just asking referee Rob Spencer to clean the cue ball. Again, he's just a little further away from the blue than he'd like to be here. you're prone to the 12 odd snatchy cue delivery it's that kind of slowly rolled cue ball close to a side cushion shot that can cause problems but Liang was okay there no problem kept still 13 Just in the nick of time from Jack Lizowski's point of view. 16. Yang's went out of position a bit. There is a red that will still pot to the left hand black pocket, but it's quite tricky. Oh, it's gone. 17. In. The break continues. That kind of blind cutback. So difficult to judge. And now it's in. 2 0 is beckoning. Well, again, this may 20. not have worked out too well for Liang. If he's dead straight on this red, position to a colour. Isn't guaranteed. Has he got any angle here to work with, I wonder? Twenty one. As the cue ball was going back into mid table, there we saw that the pink will pass this red closest to it into the middle pocket. It takes him 53 ahead. So this red and a high value colour. And poor old Jack Lazowski, who did precious Quite little in the first frame, might well be shut out in the second. Liang was fortunate there to be on the pink. Didn't intend to cannon the black. And if that black could have just nudged that red that was next to the pink, that pink wouldn't have been on. All academic now. This blue and one more red for 2-0. Two 21. Yes, the blue. Not quite. 
high enough value to put the frame safe, but this simple red will. 34. Forty. Forty-one. That's what you've got to do in these Championship League groups. Time your run impeccably. 48. As Dominic Forty quite rightly said, he came through the actual round-robin phase of the group quietly. Sixty-three. I know you mentioned earlier, 65. Dominic, that Liang practices quite a bit with Ronnie O'Sullivan, has done over the years, and that O'Sullivan's <laughs> impressed with him. Well, when O'Sullivan's yeah. impressed with someone, that means you can really, really play this game. And that's something he's illustrating right now. 72. Seventy-seven. Eighty-three. Ninety on the frame. Leon Wimble. Cracking stuff from the firecracker. He won the first frame with a break of 91. He clears with 90 in the second. And just like that, Jack Lazowski is in a heap of trouble in this Group 1 final of the Bed Victor Championship League. The Angwen Bo leads 2-0. News from the Morningside Arena in Leicester is that the man breaking off in frame three of the Group 1 final is one frame away from earning a place in the winner's group in a couple of months' time. Liang Wenbo leads Jack Lazowski 2-0, although he does have a tendency to tighten up near the finishing line. I'm not writing off Lazowski at all. at all surprised to see Jack just take the odd pot on here to try and get something moving from his point of view try and create an opportunity somehow 
I don't think he's had one yet, really. Poor old Jack Lizowski, if he doesn't win this match, he's got to come back tomorrow for Group 2 and do it all over again. Well. Jack. Now he has a chance here to power the green in and go into the pack of reds and scatter these reds everywhere. Deciding on the yellow. He made that decision because he'd like to go into the pack of reds from the blue instead and I think he's played that quite nicely. Three. work of this now Jack. I can't help but feel he ought to have gone into the pack previously from the green and he couldn't hold for the blue there. He's actually thinner on the red than I anticipated and this black to continue the break is far from easy. Oh he just missed the cannon. Wanted to cannon a secondary red to hold for one in the left corner. 11. I don't know if he can just drop this red into the left centre, or the right centre, I beg your pardon. You look easy on the TV screens or your computer monitors. Twelve. Wasn't too bad in the end. Now he's on the pink here, Jack, with a good angle to power this in, run through the pack of reds and just try and Break a few open. Oh, he'd be delighted with the outcome of that, I'm sure. They really did fan out nicely, those reds for Jack. That red that's just to the left of the black could cause him a problem. I wonder if he can screw into it here and just knock it on. No, he managed to avoid it. Problem is the black's only available into the right corner. 26. Now, oh, has the cube will run far enough here? I'm not entirely sure it has. As you pointed out, Dom, the red to the left of the black was always going to make it troublesome. Every time you played on it, you had to be so pinpoint. And on this occasion, yellow ball. Lazowski's come up short. Pink not available, so it's just a safety off the yellow. Jack Lazowski, 27.
wanted Cannon on the green has left a pot of red on here for Jack Nizowski, but it's risky. But I think he'll be taking it on. Various ways of playing it. He could just stun it in and hold for the black in the left corner. was risky and in fact had a little more angle on that red than I thought he had and played for the black in the same corner as the red. Now has he covered everything here? Jack knows he can't really afford any more mistakes at the point of no return now, 2-0 behind. Oh, a mistake from Liang and it's, it's like what you were saying does tighten up a little bit under pressure but I think for me it was his shot choice there Liang that let him down yes you're right the the Q arm tightens and also I think the the brain becomes a little scrambled tried to force his way over the line there it was a very high tariff shot wasn't it what well, knowing that Far more likely than not, he would leave Lazowski right back in again if he didn't judge it correctly. Yeah, Liang attempted a plant from long range, but really put all his eggs in one basket by standing up for the blue into the left centre. Right. It was such a speculative plant, I think it'd be better trying to take the cube up towards green and brown. Nine. And it's not advisable to allow Jack Lazowski to build up any kind of head of steam. Fourteen. Fifteen. Jack could do with winning the frame from here just to send a few warning signs to Liang Wenbo to further pressure him. Twenty one. Twenty two. Well, incorrect side of the blue, but with all of the three ball colours off their spots. And a big angle on the blue. That was absolutely no sweat whatsoever to go in and out of bulk. 27. 28. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Should be home and dry in this frame now. Liang already needs one snooker. Make that three, and it's doubtful he's going to get back to the table. Forty-one. Forty-two. Forty-nine. Just enough for the century break. Should he take black from the remaining two reds? Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Forty 
65. 66. 70. Fair enough. You can pop the yellow, get on the green. Jalazowski, 73. I'm afraid. Yeah. Good break, that. With these back against the wall. Jack Lazowski didn't do an, an awful lot of snooker. An awful lot of scoring in the first couple of frames. He was largely in his chair. There, though, he came to the fore. Liang Wenbo still leads. Now, though, only 2-1. This is very much... Battle on. When you get to the final of a group in the Bed Victor Championship League, it's always gratifying when the standard is high. Sometimes we've had really scrappy, very hard-fought finals, which haven't really reflected the snooker in the group that's preceded them. But on this occasion, both players seem to be nicely in touch. And I wouldn't be surprised at all to see this go the full distance. Well, this is a possible red for Liang Lembo as a shot to nothing. You may get a measure of how he's feeling, or how close he gets to this. Well, what? very close is the answer. That's a super red from Liang Lembo. Giving himself a wonderful chance here now. The two reds above the black are both available. Nicely on a bulk colour. as good as you'll see the reds at the beginning of the frame We've had two Asian players win this event before. Marco Fu was the overall champion in 2010. Ding Wei, the champion a couple of years later. 12. Nineteen. 
twenty. Thank you. The red above the black is the last of the available reds to the Angman boat. So he needs an angle now to go into the pack of reds. Maybe he's purposely left himself low on this red to bring others into play whilst maintaining black ball position, but if you miss just the cannon here, you could easily fall out of position. Twenty-eight. And that's not ideal. He's very straight on the black. As you can see, he's nearly three feet away from it. Hitting down on the cue ball, did well. He has got a red to middle. Now this is the kind of shot, the the rolled shot, when he knows it's the key potentially to a frame, that he has been a little susceptible on in recent years. But this time it goes in as though it's hanging over a pocket. Very well done. Well, there wasn't a great deal wrong with Jack Lizowski's safety shot. Well, it was a break-off shot, wasn't it? Left the cue ball tight on the ball cushion. Couldn't get it in behind the green. That's just the way the cushions are playing. They're skidding a little, so it's difficult to do. And we have knocked in that excellent long red to right corner, and this is the result of it. Forty-nine. Graham Dodd, six wins out of six in the round robin phase, then sort of fizzled out. Liang Wenbo, all right, I suppose, in qualifying for the playoffs, and then came into his own, getting very close to victory here. Just overrun slightly for the red that's next to the pink, which means in potting it, he'll have to cannon the red near his Q-tip there, to the right of it. So he needs to judge this well. Oh, this is a problem, he's left-handed, so he needs to play it with the rest. That further complicates things for Liang. Thanks. 58. Right now, though, Jack Lazowski must be fearing the worst. Sixty five. Sixty six. has been an amazing break from Liang Wenbo. What a way 72. to take your place in the winners group. And I think you'll agree with this, Dominic, if he comes to the winners group in early February on form and starts to knock in a few, he might take 80. all the stopping. His ranking position in terms of his ability, certainly in terms of his break building 87. ability, is definitely false. Well, number 34 should be higher. 88.
94. 95. Well, if he takes the pink here, he could equal the group highest break of 136. Ryan Day held the highest break position for quite some time in the 132. 102. Zhou Yilong has made a 1-3-6. Can Liang Wenbo equal it here? Half ball on the brown is fine, and that's exactly what it was. 109. This is brilliant from Liang Wenbo. To say, there was nothing wrong with the great off shot from Jack Lazowski. And yet it's turned out to be his last of the match. 114. Already, this is Liang's personal high break of the group, and what a time to deliver. One hundred and twenty-three. If he does pot pink and black, it will be a half share of the group high break prize. Two hundred and fifty pounds for Joe. Two hundred and fifty pounds for his compatriot. Now that is the definition of finishing with a flourish. As Dominic Dale so rightly said, Jack Lazowski's break-off was pretty good. The cue ball was glued under the ball cushion, but Liang knocked in a shot to nothing. But from there, he gave.